Come on, girls. The one that's coming up for first right now is Margo. Farmer Bob Plummer is a co-owner of Moomer's Homemade Ice Cream and Farm Creamery in Traverse City. That's Hannah that just come through. That's Little Red that just come through. With 18 cows milked twice a day every day by Bob himself, Moomer's produces over 2,700 pounds of milk each week. Between processing and distributing the milk locally on top of keeping up with the busy ice cream season, you start to wonder if he ever catches a break. The farmers don't go on vacations either very often. You know, to me, it's a treat when I get to go out for supper at night. Aside from the demanding daily duties, there's another reason why Farmer Bob seldom leaves the farm. When Farmer Bob goes on vacation, milk production at Moomers goes down between 15 and 20 percent. I went away in February last year and we lost uh, Every day the production went down about um, between 30 to 40 pounds a day. Now I know it's moving to think that these ladies actually miss Farmer Bob when he's on vacation. However, much like any other creature, they're simply creatures of habit. I tell everybody it's the magic hands, you know. Like clockwork, twice a day, every day, the cows head to the barn around 6.30 in the morning. Bob milks them and then he does it again after his nap at 5 in the evening. Milk production is a smooth process when Bob's in the barn, but when others fill in for him, it throws off the cows and production. It depends on how you touch them, how you chain them up and, and uh, what they're eating. If you've got somebody you, you're with all the time and somebody else comes in and gets in your territory. You don't like it, so they like to have what's going on the same way every day. They're really fussy if the radio isn't turned on. And I always, always ask everybody what kind of mu music you think they listen to. Well, everybody says country, and I said, no, they like bluegrass. And they do. We listen to bluegrass. When Bob comes a-calling, the herd heads to the barn without delay. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. She boss! They're coming. We have a boss cow and she's the one that, that moves first and brings them up and, and I tell everybody my boss cow's name is Nancy and my wife's name is Nancy. <laughs> and there's a reason for that, people. <laughs> if Bob and his cows have anything in common, it's the commitment they have to each other. The only time I've been out of my barn in the last 21 years is a couple years ago I had a heart attack and I was out for 10 days. And I had one kick me in the knee a couple years ago and I was out for six days on that. And other than that, I've been in that barn every day, twice a day for 21 years. But like any relationship, once in a while, Bob and the gals have their differences. Get in there. I got one right now. She'll come in the barn, eat a little bit, run out. She won't let me chain her up, so I go outside and chase her. His job may not always be easy, but Bob wouldn't have it any other way. No, I just like being a farmer. I like the whole idea of getting outside. I mean, they're out there laying down right now and they're all chewing their cud and having a good time and everybody's happy. I think it's about time we put this story out to pasture. I know, I know, it's utterly ridiculous how many cow puns I was able to fit into this story. But now I think I've officially milked it for all it's worth. For 7 and 4 News, I'm Megan Moore.